CMC Market Singapore is partnering with Sophia Women uh, to give a female-focused financial education platform to promote financial literacy among young women. What a great uh, effort that is. Joining us now, Tanya Rolf, the founder of Sophia Women, and Daphne Tan, the account executive and chair of the CSR Committee, CMC Markets Singapore. Ladies, good morning and welcome to Money good FM. Good morning, Daphne. Good morning, Tanya. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you for having thank you for having us. Well, great to have you with us today. And uh, Tanya, um, this is your second time on the show. Always happy to have you back. Tell us, tell us about this new effort to promote financial literacy, this new training or education platform. Sure, sure. So, so Daphne is um, representing CMC Market Singapore, and they are our client at Sophia. And okay. we, when we were approached by CMC for um, for a um, course to appeal to young um, women as part of their connection with sort of uh, to promote International Women's Day. Um, we we came up with a, a fantastic course um, that I think really gets young women um, when and at a really crucial age, actually, really st- at the, you know heading out of university or maybe just finishing up university that that kind of age, so starting mm-hmm. to manage money. And starting on a really positive foot. So when Daphne and her team approached us, we thought it was a fantastic opportunity for us to create a course specifically for this age group because there are some specific financial needs and, and thoughts that, that are happening at this for this age group. So we needed to create something very specific for them. So it was very exciting. And and Daphne, let's let's go to you. What what do you hope that that young women in Singapore would learn from this platform that maybe they can't get somewhere else? Or, I mean, there's, there's a lot of education out there for people if they want it, of course, online and elsewhere. What, what's the secret sauce for what you're doing um, at, at, at uh, CMC Markets to help them? At CMC Markets, um, with this program, we're actually hoping that to kind of shine the spotlight on them because uh, trading and investing is traditionally a very male-dominated industry as well as a topic. So um, with Sophia's help, we're going to shine the spotlight and let them know that this is something they can do as well. So uh, we hope this is the first of many initiatives that we can help them with. And of course, if they do intend to come to us, uh, we do have females in the office as well who are championing this kind of initiative. And uh, so what does the program actually look like? Tonya, when you um, you know, when somebody wants to get involved in this program, what do they do? What is it? Is it a multiple kind of, is it a day long course? Is it, what is it exactly? Sure. Great question. So uh, we are partnering So the way to access this course is through, um, we're partnering with, um, NUS, um, and with other universities, with all of the universities and, uh, polytechnics in Singapore. So any of the financial institutions are welcome to um, approach us and we can distribute the course uh, through the, the education educational institution. Um, so we're not actually doing it directly with individual women, but through, the, through those um, institutions. And what we do is we access that, we allow them access to our digital course. So it's content that's built specifically for them uh, so it, it includes things like making budgets, managing debt, mindful spending, um, the benefits of starting investing early, which is very, you know, in, you know, very prominent for um, yeah. pertinent for children, you know, young women. Oh, um, the, time, and the time value of money, right? That's a huge exactly. one. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it, it, they can access this. It's bite sized because we all know that everyone's got um, really short attention spans these days, especially our young. Um, yep. So it's bite sized. People can do it, you know, in their own time. They can do it on the MRT on the way to study, um, you know, on the way home. They can do it on the weekends. It's, it can do small modules. Um, it's probably about an hour and a half long. So um, mm-hmm. a little it's 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 a great course. And one of the reasons why I wanted to, we wanted to, at Sophia, and when CMC approached us, wanted to approach this specific uh, specific um, age demographic, is that we can see a huge difference between young women and young men already at around the age of twenty in terms of their interest and their belief in their own financial literacy standards and often we see young men seeing themselves as being very financially literate and very confident to take action and young women of the same age 
very concerned about their lack of knowledge and therefore shying away. So getting in at this young age is really, really important. You know, that, that surprises me because I would have thought that five years ago, 10 years ago, that would be the case. But, you know, in the year 2023, it would seem to me that people are have, have grown a little bit more about the financial or understanding about it. And like, no, Glenn. we're still not there, huh? I mean, I know we're no. not, not where we need to be, but it seems like there would maybe be more confidence, especially with the younger generation. Um, so Daphne, Tanya, I really like what you're doing here because I only speak from my own experience, which is someone who is trying to invest, someone's trying to save yeah. and run a business. I can tell you that maybe I'm, I'm, it's a bit of a stereotype here, but you have the data, I don't. Anecdotally, in my community, yeah. many of the women that I know have challenges uh, dealing with risk. Hmm. So when you need to invest, you need to have a very strong risk appetite. Yeah. So when, when, when you don't have that ability to have risk and you know some of the times we lose money especially in this in this uh, e economy right now so we end up saving and you don't compound your your savings as fast as mm. maybe a male a male person a, a guy some equally um, yeah but about the same age but more likely to deal with risk and handle risk better mm. definitely what what about that are you seeing uh, are you seeing the data that that supports what what uh, Juliana was just mentioning there. What what have you noticed, or what have you observed in your uh, in your research? Sure, definitely. So, uh, for example, like eight out of ten of my clients are actually male, and um, females mm. usually tend to start much later. So, mm. a lot of my mm. clients who are females who are starting only to invest and trade, they're about like forties to fifties. Yes. Um, as compared to the male con counterparts who can start around late 20s to 30s. Uh, for male clients, I have them as young as like uh, 20, who's already quite, um, they watch YouTube videos, they're very involved in learning because it's just something that them and their friends talk about. Whereas I guess for females, it's not something that's so straightforward. Um, yeah. They need to be influenced by people around them, family or friends, uh, which is not particularly the topic that um, I guess people kind of talk to females about. So it's really Definitely important that's, to start that's consistent. Young. That's consistent with what I see around me. I must say that in my own experience, I started, my dad must, must be watching me today on, on <laughs> Facebook. He used to help me with my investments. He was formerly a remiseer. Um, mm. He's retired now. And uh, I only started being interested in picking stocks, you know, putting money, ETF funds, etc. in my late 30s. Mm. That mm. was maybe three to four years ago. Yeah. And I felt, that I was totally inadequate, didn't know where to start. I messaged a lot of my friends about what is a share, what is a stock, and it must have been very amusing for them to answer these questions. <laughs> so yeah. thank you for doing this. Yeah. We should be equipped and armed with this knowledge mm -hmm. as early as possible. Yeah, We're talking with Tanya Rolf, the Sophia Women founder, and Daphne Tan, uh, the chair of the CSR committee at CMC Markets about a new financial literacy uh, program that the CMC Markets is doing. Tanya, uh, you with through Sophia Women, you've been working on this since the first time you came on the show. Uh, what over a year ago, I believe it was. Yeah. And and what what changes? Uh, and let's hope they've been positive changes. Have you seen in this field of helping people understand finance better? Yeah. Um, two two things on that. Um, the first thing is just to. Um, you, you mentioned earlier, um, Glenn, that you thought that we might have advanced a little more in yeah. terms of education, but our financial education in schooling is still non-existent pretty much across mm. the globe. So we're mm. still in a pretty dire, dire place um, when it comes to formal education. Um, okay. and, and, and when it comes to um, what we're seeing at Sophia, uh, since we last spoke, so since Christine, my co-founder, and I came on the show a year ago, um, we actually launched Sophia with a B2C model and very quickly, probably within the first month of launch, we realized, um, had a bit of a eureka moment that unfortunately financial literacy is one of those things where a lot of women know that they have the gap. They know that they could do better and they know that they should do something about their future because we live longer, we have less money, so therefore we need to be smarter with our money when you know during our working years. Mm. But we, they, they very rarely take action. So a B2C model just doesn't work. So what we we have a very strong B2B model. So obviously clients like CMC Markets 
We work with some of the world's largest banks, financial institutions, um, wealth managers, financial advisors, and also corporates, because they're really interested in getting their employees uh, financially literate, because it has a huge impact. If you have financially stressed employees, the impact on your bottom line as a business is huge, and your yeah. attrition rate is just you know, it's something you really need to think about. So that's something that we're seeing definitely in Asia. And I feel like we're just a tad behind Europe when it comes mm. to thinking about financial stress and, and well-being as being more than just yoga and, you know, a gym <laughs> membership, but actually being mental health, which is very closely connected with financial health. Um, wow. And so we're seeing that big change. So that I mean, so there's hope, right? I mean, it's a good yes, thing, for right? Sure. Not where we it's need to fantastic. be, but at least we're going the right direction, hopefully. It's we fantastic. We could do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We need more. And and what we also need is to, t is to get in, you know, what we're doing with CMC Markets is fantastic because we're targeting, as I said, the very young women. Um, but what I want to see is working with the six, seven, eight-year-olds, getting in even younger, wow. which is when we should be getting in. Um, yeah. and, and educating. And I've tested it myself with my own six and seven year old and mm. it 100% works. There's a, um, a financial advisor who used to live here uh, named Andrea Kennedy and she's moved back to the States a few years ago, uh, but she started doing a, a financial investing course for kids uh, probably 10, maybe 15 years ago. And she, she started with her own kids who were born and raised here in Singapore and um, before they moved back. And, and sh so she started doing this with, you know, with some of her school, her kids, school friends and things, just, uh, you know, pick a stock, here's $5, invest $5 in Lego or whatever the, you know, the, the, the kid's toy was or whatever, and let's watch it over six months. But Greg, she was, she was amazing with that. So yeah. I've heard in the international school system, my kids are in the local school system, that they have courses where they get on this kind of uh, a play stock picking platform mm -hmm. where they they simulate the buying of stocks mm -hmm. but of course it's not real money it's all credits mm -hmm. uh, or tokens and they have a game of who wins and who makes the most money over time yep, so yep. they actually simulate the process of buying stocks yeah just understanding that mm -hmm. process i think is huge uh, daphne how many how many women have you attracted to this program or are you hoping to attract uh to the, to your s uh, to your cmc um program that you're working on with tanya um, so we were hoping to attract 130 women. I think we're on the way there. Um, that was the outreach that we decided to do uh, for this. And we do intend to work with Sophia and Tanya again uh, in future because we find this program really, really helpful. Um, and it's something we'd like to continue. Wow. Well and, and finally, how does somebody connect with you guys if they're interested in either passing this news on to a friend or doing it themselves? How do they find you? Um, so they could con uh, connect with Tanya on either like LinkedIn or uh, the Sophia website. And uh, for me, uh, we'll just call into CMC and ask for Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> call the CMC. Yeah. Hello, is Daphne there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's only one. So. <laughs> it's only right. one. I'm going to try that just to see if it works. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Ladies, we have to leave it there. Tanya Rolf, the founder of Sophia Women, and Daphne Tan, the chair of the CSR Committee at CMC Markets in Singapore. Thanks so much for uh, not only being with us, but for offering this great program. Yeah, I think Thank it's really going to be great. Thank you. Thank you, Daphne. Thank you, Thank Tanya. You. Thank you. Have a, great, have a great weekend.